Hi guys, uh, Charlie Commando here. Uh, this is my first video in quite a while. Um, I've had a lot of technical troubles with uh, computers and setups, but now I've got a new HD PVR, and I thought, you know, I'll give it a try. And my first video is going to be a commentary. This is on Wasteland, um, which is also a quality test, of course. And this is using the highest, well, one of the highest bit rates, and it's come out of great quality. Um, so yeah, I'm just sniping. I'm not a sniper, but this is one of the rare opportunities to use a sniper rifle in the game uh, because you can't use it on any of the maps, you just don't have the space I mean, even maps such as, uh, I think it's Derail you just don't have the space to use it and um, on other close quarters maps you can't use them like you could on COD 4 but anyway so um, this commentary is directed to a certain group and that group is um, the Infinity War forums uh, I stumbled upon the Infinity War website um, not by accident, but because of the code on the back of the, back of the manual, which you can't actually use because um, they haven't added the stat tracking feature into the game yet. Like they do now. On World of War, you can just track your stats, but you can't yet on MW2. Um, so, yeah, while I was on the website, I went on the forums to see what other people thought of the game, and uh, I posted a bit on the forums, got my read about how there's loads of glitches and shit like that that people didn't like. but yeah, no, none of the stuff people really said face me, apart from one thing in particular, which was um, kill-death ratio. I mean, some people think that you can't get a kill-death ratio over 2.5 without cheating, which is absolute bollocks, to be honest. Most games will see people with over 2.5, and especially me, I'm, I've got a 4.0 kill-death ratio. And for me to hear that, I thought, wow, people just don't use their heads. But yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to prove to people in this game that you can get a high kill death ratio without even being a good sniper, I mean, or a good player for that matter, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm trying out the sniping, sniping, sniper rifles and sniping here. I've seen loads of videos on YouTube of people sniping and uh, I thought I may as well give it a go. I'm not that good a sniper, I just thought I'd tell you before. You start complaining, oh, you can't hit shit. Well, you know, that's how it is. Um, so yeah, uh, you see, I miss that guy from stationary position which really pisses me off to do that but anyway so yeah getting a high kill death ratio in this game it's not hard uh, it's all about kill streaks to be honest uh, if you use your kill streaks well there's nothing stopping you getting a high kill death ratio um, so yeah at the moment um, I can't remember what I'm on at this particular point but I'm on pretty low um, I get the kill here and another one here behind the bushes which you can't see but I could on my TV because it's 72 inches baby and um, I get killed by a final stand person uh, not that guy, that, this guy here I, I managed to get a killer hit on him goes down to final stand but he's got his AK and you know AK's accuracy is something in real life that doesn't exist but in this game it's amazing along with every other assault rifle so yeah I'm on a 10 to 4 at the moment which um, is a 2.5 kill death ratio through average gameplay Seeing, just, just proving the point they don't have to be a cheat to get that kill death ratio but now I'm going to kill streaks and this is the start of the kill streak and that was, that was the first kill so I'm on 1 at the moment um, yeah so I've seen, I've seen this guy here try to shoot me uh, See for yourself. That, that's that's two kills there. That's a that's a hip shot and a half. Hip shot with a headshot. You can't beat that. Um, I'm going on here to get my third. I miss the guy and he runs off behind cover. Tries to hit me with the assault rifle right, to get the UAV. And I think the UAV is one of the major kill streaks. I mean, people say Predator is better. But UAV is a lifesaver, especially for running guns. People without using the hard defenses. I mean. Um, you can see where people are, and this is the best part in the video, where I get the three knife kills in a row. Oh, nothing better than getting a, a spawn kill. Um, you know, so this guy tries to attack me with a 50 cal, knock him over. And uh, the next part of getting a high kill streak, kill streak is using your senses. I mean, if you can see people or hear people, you're probably going to get killed. And I could hear that guy coming up behind me, and the guy in the shed. Just kill them both. Move on, get behind cover. So I'm moving on to the next part of cover, and this is the wall here. Stay behind the wall, and uh, call in the kill streak. And I kill the ki I call the kill streak on um, areas where they're most likely to be. And those areas where they're most likely to be are places like Flag C, and they're flags where they actually, where they actually, or the flags that they own. 
and around. And if you you notice if you kill people around the flag that they'll move to your flags. So once you notice this, uh, the best off moving to uh, protect your flag. So I'm moving to protect B here. Uh, I'll go around the houses because that's where they're respawning. Uh, people will say they respawn openly but they always respawn behind cover which is a benefit compared to a Call of Duty 4 where you respawn in the open and so yeah the next lot are in the house so I fire the rocket in the house as you do to clear the house out um, get the knife kills, I've got two of them just then this is the Harrys and this guy here, that's 2021 um, and I find a safe place to lie down uh, just checking these clear I'm going to lie down here, get out the chopper gunner and um, yeah, just wreak havoc really um, so yeah, I'm uh, getting the kills here with the chopper gunner uh, it's three shots now for the kill and you can see I'm hitting this guy quite a lot of times so he's just not dying which is really frustrating so really in these sort of situations he's used uh, AC-130 um, anyway, so yeah um, on the matter of kill kill death ratios, I think to get a high kill death ratio, you need nothing more than um, kill kill streak rewards. Rewards, sorry. Um, you can get I don't know. You can't. Of course, you can't get I don't know so many kills like I did. I got 15 kills without um, rewards. I should probably more. I got about 17 kills with this kill death ratio, this kill streak for that rewards, and. Um, you know, it's all about keeping your head clear and remembering that you've got these rewards to fall back on. I mean, you can't you can can't go straight on into the rewards without you know finishing off what you have at hand, and that's the main thing that people need to take into account. I think I see people going straight into straight in from the four kills of the Harriers to the chopper gunner without clearing the area first. And once you clear the area, you've got a whole area free of uh, enemies to get your nuke without boosting and uh, yeah um, so that's how I keep my kill death ratio so I went from a 10 to 4 kill death ratio to a 42 to 4 kill death ratio without you know with um, just the kill streaks without cheating and um, so yeah just to say to these forum people fuck you and thank you for watching the video